Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy LJ, and you are now tuned in to Grind Season TV. Get on your grizzly, boy. Huh? Lotto, you watching Grind Season TV. Get on your grizzly. It's your boy Nana, man. It's Grind Season TV. Get on your grizzly. You already know it's Blizzy 44 to 305. Every chicken on my motherfucking plate, nigga. Hold him to the rock, nigga. Shout out Grind Season TV. My brother Vis, nigga. Get on your grizzly. Grind Season TV. Get on your grizzly. It was Grind Season. TV. Yo, 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 it's niggas, I rap and I rap, Mr. Yamshin, Mr. Killing them off, stealing the women and sending them off, I did it to get in the jaws and get in the jaws and you're fucking with Grind Season TV, nigga, get on your grizzly, nigga. Grind Season TV, get on your grizzly, you dig? Season two, it's your boy, man. Lil West, man. We here with Lil West, man. We here with Miguel, man. Two of the top talents in Rochester. Yeah, appreciate it. One of the top rappers, one of the top dancers. Man, we here. MBF and families in the building, man. Before we start or go anywhere, let's start with where did the Little West phenomenon begin? About 10 years ago, when I was seven. Yeah? Yeah, 17 right now. They know that, though. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you were seven years old, you were rapping. You also dropped the album. 10. What was that like? What was that moment like for you? It was a real special moment. You know, I've been, mean, I've always been a hard worker, so dropping the album at 10, it was just another stepping stone for me. And it, it was dope. Like, I, I've always been into receiving attention, so me doing that, it like made people look at me different. Like, this ain't just no regular kid. Like, I'm him. I'm him. So would you say that? Help you with the boys you have now at 17 with some of the success that you got. Definitely, man. Yeah. I respect that. That's dope because you know how many guys from her. And from just talking to you behind camera and stuff. Appreciate it. But if we're going to move forward, um, we split about, you talk about the pain and stuff. So, who was somebody that influenced or favorite artist to create the style you had? As far as creating my style, I couldn't completely say nobody influenced me. You know, my style is my style. That's, that's how I rock. So, as far as that, I, I couldn't say an artist influenced me. I listen to a lot of artists, though. But as far as my favorite artists, I would say Lil Boosie right now. That's crazy. That's it. It's just like Boosie and you are polar opposites in mm -hmm. styles. Flow. Pain is the same, but mm -hmm. styles, flow, and delivery are completely opposite from one another. Right. Boosie, Boosie like my Tupac, man. Like, you hear a lot of older people saying their favorite artists is either Biggie or Tupac. So for for me, Boosie my Tupac. I'm the coach on the block, point blame like a dog. Try to pop me like a pokey, homie, you must be crazy. Ain't a saying they gon' hurt me, I'm known and they wanna take me. I be feeling like she burnt me the way that she called me, baby. All these shorties wanna serve me, they see that a nigga way. Try to pop me like a pokey, you must be crazy. Saying they gon' hurt me, I'm knowing they wanna take me. Feeling like she burnt me the way that she called me, baby. Shorties wanna serve me. Also, something that, that came up across my mind, right? Red flags to me, stuff like that. One of my video take me that we did at 50k. Tell yeah, me yeah. about that. Um, the first time I put it up, I did it on 50k in three weeks. In three weeks, um, I had the 50k. And something, I don't, we still don't know what happened, but the video got took taken down. And like during that time, I was. I was like upset, real sad. I almost, I almost cried over that because like, you never seen nobody from Rochester do that. <laughs> Not in those three weeks, but I put it back up and it's about to touch 100K. That's dope. So. So even though know, people hating on the ground, you just can't ignore the talent, is it? Can't ignore it, I'm him. Well, I mean, he said it in his song, he the one, and it's going. Self-explaining so we're gonna work speak for itself. Right. So I'm gonna keep working though, dang. That ain't nothing that was gonna stop me anyway. And thousands ain't nothing. Exactly. We want millions. And dollars and views. So what is the thing? that make you different from every artist in Rochester and 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 Rochester and
you know, my story is my story. Anything I'm rapping is from what I've been through or where I want to be. So that's what I would say separate me from any other artist in the time. Absolutely, that's that's real. That's a man answer, even in our respect that. As far as going away from that, because you know that's what's subjective talk of people saying who's the best artist here from there. And right. the F, the label, the family, how did that come about? How did you and Miguel could connect and all that kind of good stuff? Um, MBF stands for my brothers forever. So it's basically the people I'm around a lot. My circle, family, we stay tight. She open and I ain't trying hard work just to get where I'm at. Make it hit, they gon' say to the slap. Let her snap, but I ain't with the chat. I spin them bands, then get it right back. I'm the man, I don't know what you told. Play in my hand, I swear I won't fold. Fuck up the game like I got a cold. Don't know what you mean, cause I'm in my mold. Like a baker, gotta get to the door. Count the paper, then it's back on the road. They gon' hate me, man, I already know. Now they see me, I like, ooh, did he go? Ooh, did he go? That's the one. It's a need, not a want. Triple E, how it jump? When I'm seen, I'm a stunt. Need that green on my money. Talked about 
like how Rochester have this dopey dope mentality and stuff like that. Right. And other artists might feel like they argue, well, Lil West is the best. No, Dini's running Rochester. No, Gumbo and Sinatra's doing this. When that conversation comes about, I never, I rarely ever see you say anything. You always show love and humble about it. What do you really think when people be throwing your name in these kind of things? Nothing. Just work west. That's all I think. Work west. That conversation could come when I'm at the top. None of us at the top yet. That's that's the problem with Rochester. I feel like there's too many of us who get that that city fame and feel like we die. And I don't let that. I don't let that conversation really get to me too much. Cause that 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 type of conversation to make people feel like they the jump or they they doing a lot. No, I'm gonna just work and I'm gonna prove who I am. I respect that. something that's gonna make them remember me. Like, oh, he, he did this different, or he did that. So I'm all about make, doing something to make them remember me. I respect that, that's cool. Like, one thing that I, I know, cause I watch a lot of other interviews and podcasts, things that help start Rockefeller. One of the things he pushed new artists to do, even though you're not new, is to perform and to not be willing to go on the road and stuff like that. Right. And you're not afraid to do that from what I've seen. Before we get this working with Nesto, your jersey game. You got jerseys for days. <laughs> Who started that? I feel like Mama Love got you into the jersey game. Nah, me. Word? Yeah. So, yeah. I like jerseys, and it's, it's crazy because half the time I don't even be knowing the names on the jerseys. <laughs> it's just the style. I like look, looking different. But uh, another person who be wearing jerseys is Fab. Yeah. Fab, but I ain't going to say he influenced me. It's just jerseys look right on Fab about his own situation right now, we ain't gonna talk too much about Fab. <laughs> but um, working with Nats, what was that experience like for you? Especially him being from Rochester and being somebody that's on to a major company like Hot Rich and stuff like that. Um, before I answer that question, I wanna say shout out to Nats. He like a big brother to me now. Like, we actually created a bond before we even started working. And working with him is dope. He humble, he all about working. I can't say that about him. He he don't want to do nothing outside of working. He not, you won't catch Nats at no party or doing anything outside of his success or to build his career. So yeah, but working with him, it was real dope, man. Like right now, I would say he my favorite producer. That's dope. And I, I mean, you got his number too. So it's like, hey, my favorite producer. I got on speed. That was up with it. Right. Um. So, anything you have coming up, EP wise, mixtape wise? I got an EP coming real soon. We're not gonna, I ain't gonna give a specific date because right now my team, we doing a lot of tweaking. But as soon as we get closer to that time, they'll know. That's what's up, that's what's up. We got a lot of stuff coming. Um, 
I'm performing at the 6 9 April 27th, so y'all make sure I go get them tickets. For real. Keep the drama at home, because we know 6 9 got a target on his back from the whole world. But low I'm coming to do my thing, I'm out. Exactly. Shout out to it, though. So we know you go, you working real hard. Any EPs or mixtapes we could be expected from you, anything like that? E EP coming soon. EP coming soon. We just gonna keep it that quiet. EP coming mm -hmm. soon. Can't give him too much. Can't give him too much. I, I respect that. I'm not even gonna ask how long the track list is. I'm gonna keep that stuff <laughs> secret, you feel me? Um, so when, when you shoot your videos, you recently dropped Can't Lose and that did numbers. Right. How was that experience shooting that song? Because you could tell it was a lot of pain in that song. Oh yeah, um, before we get into that, shout out Fresh Visits. Um, shout out Fresh, that's my brother, man. Yeah, he, love Fresh he dope. Working with him is dope. Um, he patient. He don't he don't rush nothing, but shooting at it, it was dope. It was dope. Respect, I mean, like I said before, NBF is tight, so everybody that was in your first video basically was in your second video, right. and you don't do too much different, or you don't deviate from the course of what you're playing is, and I respect that. Right, but um, we we gonna start doing stuff different. Right now, we just giving them a taste of, of what we could do, but we definitely gonna have videos where it's like acting. Okay. Um, you could actually get the story for the message. You could, you you will feel like you in the video. I respect that. Um, shout shout out both your parents a lot of your music. Mm -hmm. So how close are you to your because a lot of artists don't believe they just want to share their pain, but they don't share the love that they have for or affection for other people. Like I said, man, I got a story to tell. It's like, I'm real close with my parents and I want a better life for us. So in order for me to do that, I got to work. And music is, is working out for me at home. Like I said, my father locked up right now. And financially, stuff kind of got tight. For my mother, you know, she got me and my two little brothers and they kind of got tight for her to um, care for us. So it's like right now, I could be that helping hand if I just do what I got to do. I was like that. Before we get out of here, there's one more thing I want to ask you because that applies to tax season change when it was a couple weeks ago, I believe, last week. And you didn't even plan, like you wasn't even on the bill to perform, but mm -hmm. they wanted you, they just played your song and pulled you on stage to open up. How did that make you feel? Did you feel like you accomplishing things you you get some kind of acknowledgement from not just the city but also the people that you really are doing something that can go to a whole different level? Yeah, that experience was crazy, man. It was crazy. Like I was actually there to attend the concert. You know, Tori Lanez is a dope artist. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I really consider him like an artist. He he's um versatile with what he do. And I was there like to Watch him perform, and they had played my record. They spend it, and like the chills went through my body a little bit. So I was kind of stuck. Like, wait, they just played my song, and everybody around me, like, he right here, he right here. And um, the um host didn't see me. He didn't see me at first. He was looking for me, like trying to figure out who everybody was talking about. So he didn't spot me. They went back to hosting. And I was kind of sitting there upset, like, man, maybe if somebody picked me up or something, he'd have seen me and called me on stage. And the DJ had spotted me. The DJ spotted me. And he was like, Lil West, like, we ain't forget about you. We about to spin your record right now. And when he said that, I was like, by the gate. As soon as he said that, I hopped the gate. Like, man, they about to put me on stage this time. And he played the record, and I got up there and performed. That's dope. That's, that's my That was dope. I mean, it was a lot of people there too. Like recently, I interviewed Coop Chardonnay, who was one of the Tory producers. So Coop, you see this? You better make some beats for us, man. We gonna we gonna work something out to get Coop to get you some beats, man. Hit my email. <laughs> but we about to get up out of here, man. In Low West, always a pleasure having you, bro. Y'all, you already know the homie. Already know, bro. And Tom, appreciate y'all coming through, bro. All right. Blind season TV, we on the Grizzly. We up out of here. It's your boy Viz Whoops. Appreciate you watching this video. If you like what you've seen, subscribe at the end of this video on the link below. Ron Season TV, get on your grizzly. You dig?